So I just had to tidy up Bumblebee now a little bit because we had this problem before that some oil was leaking out here, out from the suspension. I saw that there was a lot of like dust and mud so I just cleaned it up and tonight we will see if it helped a little bit. We can see that here are some stains from the oil. Come on Bumblebee, 6,000 miles more! So yeah, otherwise we have a beautiful morning here. Look at that, sunshine in Georgia. Amazing. Mark is just filling up his bike. Oh look, he's a little bug. Hello. He's still alive. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. Look how good Mark looks on Bumblebee. I mean, his legs are just perfect. They are made for this bike. Like a totally flat foot, right? No, yeah, I stand up even. Like, yeah. Wow. Up. Compared to Eve, it's like super comfortable, man. Oh, I could sit here for hours. Yeah, like, yeah. Man, and the seating position is nice. Guys, do you think we have to do a bike switch? Yeah. <laughs> Does it come in electric? A little gift for you, that you don't forget us. Thank you so much, <laughs> I, I won't forget you. <laughs> so cool. That we can be part of your journey as well and that you take us with to Iran and India yeah. and all the way to New Zealand. Yep, we'll definitely do so, yeah. And you have to then maybe send us a sticker, you can mail us a sticker. Yeah, yeah, maybe I have one. Let me, oh, let, let me check, maybe I have one. Yes, please, please, please. <gasps> so sweet. Yes! No way. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. Yes. Mark Travel. Mark Travel sticker on the windshield of fame. Thanks, Mark. I'm so honored. I'm so honored to be with all the other people there. Uh oh, I hope that will last, Mark. I don't know. Last. It's high quality. It's high quality? Yeah, link below. <laughs> it will outlast the windshield. <laughs> so we can have a piece of you with us yeah. now for the rest of the journey. That's beautiful. Awesome. Part of the world record. Yes. Yeah. Let us know. But by the time you guys will see this episode, Mark is going to be a lot further than he is now. <laughs> so when you head to his channel, which you have to do, you'll see how far he's got from here. And hopefully it will be really far and not in prison in Iran. It will be a good video. A good video and a bad experience. <laughs> Good Reise! <laughs> Good Reise! You, you! Bye bye! Oh! <laughs> bye bye! For every amazing meeting, there's always always a goodbye oh i don't like it it's more like i see you later there's no goodbye there's just see you later mark is doing an amazing journey and i'm sure those journeys are going to converge at one point again and it's going to be epic yeah we had a really great time and you know he's from germany as well so just talking german as well is so cool it was nice it was nice yeah it gave me a bit of a break <laughs> he is like a pioneer you know he wants to go all the way to New Zealand on an electric bike which hasn't been done before really so it will be really interesting to know his challenges and if it's possible you know maybe he has to put his bike on the truck at one point because there is nothing to uh, or nowhere to charge his bike challenges like this are really interesting so anyway check out his channel Mark Travels and comment and like and share <laughs> his videos <laughs> good morning guys welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to be become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi, and the sun has come out just for us to start a new epic riding day here in Georgia. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we're going to be heading on this road northwest out of the city to visit first the rock carved caved citadel of Uplisiki and then hopefully if we'll have time we'll also be visiting the cave city of Vadsia somewhere around here. Yeah today's gonna be 
a cave city day. We couldn't really decide which of the two cave cities to visit, so we just decided to visit them both. Yeah, we will try to squeeze them in today. But it's actually really interesting because when I was researching it, I found out that despite the fact that they seem like they're the same thing, one of the cave cities is actually much, much older than the other. So one of the cave cities is from the Middle Ages, which is the second one we're going to be visiting. But the first one we're going to be visiting is actually all the way back from the Iron Age. So two places that seem quite similar, but have very, very different histories. Google Maps says it will take us one and a half hours to reach our first point of interest. It's already 12 o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. So before we head out of Georgia's capital, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the city of Tbilisi. So the city has a population of 1.2 million people, which is roughly a third of the population of the whole of Georgia. The whole city is situated on this river right here, the Kura River, and that runs right through the center of the city. Now the name Tbilisi comes from the old Georgian and it means place of warmth. Now they're not 100% sure, exactly what that warmth is referring to but it's either the fact that the climate here in Tbilisi is actually a lot warmer than most other parts of Georgia or it could also be as a result of the large amount of hot springs that are in the area but anyway Tbilisi is a place of warmth and it is pretty warm today to be honest and due to its proximity to the ancient Silk Road the city has always been a central city for trade and that continues to this day because of its position right in between the east and the west. Yeah, and it was actually super nice to spend a couple of days here in the city. We were walking around, we had like nice meals. It was a really nice vibe. The city has really nice historical places and the old town is just super beautiful. So it's definitely a city which you should visit at least once in your life. So we just stopped here on the side of the road just to drink something. That's Oli. What is really cool here, I never saw anything like it. Like the cemeteries here in Georgia, they're different. They have all a bench here, like a bench and a table for, I guess, like family members to chill out with them, you know? It's so cool and it's not the only one. Like every single grave has like a little bit of a seating area. I thought that's really nice. <laughs> Cyclists. The real tough guys. <laughs> the real deal. Yeah, the real warriors. Nice, look at this view. Yeah, we're really getting into some massive open Georgian landscapes. Look at that. Oh, awesome. We can see our first point of interest up ahead. The Uplist Siki City Caves. Just over there. We just got to work out how to get to them. It's just a really nice pleasant area here actually. It's such beautiful countryside here. Yeah. We were already talking like, hmm, I wonder how much properties are here. <laughs> Would you be able to learn Georgian language? Nobody who isn't Georgian is able to learn Georgian language. <laughs> I said Georgian because in German it's uh, Georgian. In German you say Georgian. Yeah, Georgian. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're just pronouncing every part of it. You're like Georgian. <laughs> Georgian. <laughs> so we didn't see any signs of how to get here. So we're just following Google Maps. There's literally no sign here that's like, oh, the uplist Siki caves are this way. Oh, look at this abandoned building here. Yeah. Park maybe there. Super! 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 
So this one, natural pomegranate juice. Sure. Let's try it. It's not alcoholic. No alcohol. No alcohol. <laughs> mm, Super. Mm. Oh, let me try. Let me try. Mm. Super. Mm. It is super. Super. We are good. We are good. Buy it. Okay, okay. He said he's going to store our helmets and jackets here. Bumblebee stays here. In Georgian, uh, thank you. Madluba. 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 Madloba. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you, Madloba. So we saved our leftovers from two days ago. Mashed potatoes. Wait, 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 wait. Mashed potatoes with aubergine. Whoa. So now we will have some bread with aubergine and mashed potatoes on the side as a little snack. I trust you, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> Add that with some beautiful pomegranate juice and you got yourself a nice little lunch break. So the fella here just gave us some cheese, but I would say this is like 99% salt. <laughs> it's so salty. <laughs> it's crazy. No, you have to eat this with bread. Okay. It's a uh, dried uh, milk with salt. Milk gets bad, but not bad. Uh, okay, it's like it sour, yeah. sour milk. Sour, yeah, okay. Sour milk, dried. Sorry, Andre. The fella here doesn't think that this tastes very good. We're going to leave Bumblebee in the capable hands of Zaha here and uh, we're going to go and check out some caves. <laughs> thank you, Madloba. Oh, Madloba, thank you. Entrance. Looks like it. <laughs> Whoa! Crazy place. What an entrance? There's bats in this cave. Oh, here they are. So we have made it up to the ancient rock-cut city of Uplisiki or the Lord's Fortress. This site is one of the oldest urban areas in the Caucasus. There's evidence that this area has been inhabited since the third millennium BC. So a very, very old apartment block. This is a city with a massive and rich history. I think a renovation is needed. I've lost Lavi in the caves. Oh, wow, how much cooler it is in here than out there. It's crazy. So these caves were cut out of limestone, which I think is the deposit at the bottom of a seafloor when lots of like organisms like shells and bones collect up over millions of years, get compressed and then end up like this. It's so cool. You can see all the marks on the walls where they've been like chipping away at it and on the roof. Look at that. The whole roof has just been like chipped away by like, I don't know, probably a bone axe to begin with. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
So the majority of these caves were actually cut during classical antiquity. The city flourished as a major religious, political and commercial center as part of the Eastern Kingdom of Georgia called Kartli. And this continued through the Hellenistic period and through the Roman period. We're just chilling in the cave. As people have done for at least 5,000 years, right here. 3,000 BC, people were probably just had a bit of a fire going in the middle here, just looking out at the view, just chilling, maybe eating some deer meat. Yeah, but check out their view. I mean, this is like a five-star view. That is some prime Iron Age real estate. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Okay. So there you go, the ancient cave city of Ublisiki. Yeah, it was really mind blowing actually. Absolutely incredible sight. And that you can walk around literally everywhere and you know, check out the rooms and sit in the cave. So cool. And the fact that people have been there walking around doing their thing, living there for such a long time, thousands of years. So cool. So, but now we are a little bit tight on time because the sunset here in Georgia is actually quite early. It's like at 7.15 and we are supposed to arrive at our next destination at 6.50. <laughs> so that gives us like 25 minutes to appreciate our second ancient cave site, which is called Vardzia. And the GPS says it's going to take us two hours and 15 minutes but anyway we've got some beautiful mountain roads to ride here in georgia this afternoon so let's do it let's enjoy the ride hey and i have to try to remember madloba our first georgian word meaning thank you madloba, madloba. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is such a busy road here and it's also not very nice because they have a lot of construction going on here. I thought I got a nice scenic route for this evening, but I don't. Yeah, it looks like they're building a new big, big, massive highway through here, which makes sense because there's a lot of traffic on this road. So I think a highway would be pretty useful, to be honest. There's a lot of also really aggressive driving going on, like people really going for the overtakes. Yeah. Yeah, a pretty dangerous road actually. Whoa. Tons of pottery. Careful, careful. Yeah, so it looks like we're finally going to turn off this road. It's just been busy, full of traffic the whole time. And I think it's here, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's here. Lord. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Finally off that road. Okay. So it says our second cave city, Vardzia, is coming up in 7.4 miles on this road. This is more like it. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer, eh? I mean, it's a bit bumpy, but it's a little bit calmer, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, he's got a rope. I'll just drive over it. Okay. So apparently Vardzia is just up here on the left, but we can't really find any roads going towards it. So I really don't know if this is actually a place that we can visit. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, if you look at Google Maps, it's just, there's nothing around. There's just like, a dot in the middle of nothing. We're basically riding past it. It's supposed to be just here on the left, but I can't see anything. No, I can't see anything. And we as well, we didn't see any signs for it. Yeah, do you think we're like in the totally wrong place? 
I have no idea. Maybe there's like two Vardzias. Maybe. <laughs> that would be pretty crazy. Anyway, we'll continue down this road for a little bit longer. On my map it's showing that we're circling around Vardzia now. So strange. Yeah. I don't think that Google Maps is right. The thing is, is that in the pictures, these uh -huh. cave rock houses are in like a... Aren't they in like more of a deserty type area? I really don't know. I really don't know. Okay. Well, so far at least, these are just small unpaved sections. <laughs> I think there might be two Vardzias and people are just logging it in the wrong place. Normally, there must be like cliffs somewhere, but I didn't see any cliffs as well. Seem like there is anything here. Okay, let me just find a place to turn it around, all right? Okay. Okay, guys, I just looked at the map here and it turns out that we're at the wrong Vards here. So here, four and a half hours to the south is the actual cave city of Vards here, and where we are now is the tiny village of Vardzia that people have mistakenly tagged pictures of the other Vardzia. So yeah, basically, we're just in a small village in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> very far away from an ancient cave city, which is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> so that's about that for our second cave city visit. So now we're going to head basically over to the nearest town and just see if we can find a place to eat and to find a place to sleep because we haven't booked anything. So let's just head on over there and see what we can find, eh? Yep. Yes, we made it to the town before dark. This town is called Zestafoni and we found a place on Airbnb. We haven't booked it. There's actually a hostel with the rooms for £20 a night. So we will head there now and check it out and see what they can offer for the night. I mean, I don't mind even a dorm room for tonight because it's, it's quite late anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be dark in like... 10 15 minutes yeah it's because we had a lazy morning with mark <laughs> yeah that's what it was a long and nice breakfast with two coffees yeah yeah it was nice that's all right i'm not mad at you mark for uh keeping us so long in the morning i'm not mad at you <laughs> it's fine i really enjoyed it and anyway we uh saved time by actually being hours and hours away from the real vads here <laughs> <laughs> really really silly and it's so funny because yesterday when we were looking at it, we were like, oh, the place has no reviews on Google. That's so strange because it's, it's it should be a major tourist attraction, but it doesn't have any reviews. Hmm, weird. Could have put two and two together, but we didn't. Anyway, the hostel is supposed to be just here on the left somewhere. Okay. And go. Yeah, I think it's this place. Okay. I will check it out. Okay. So guys, we just checked in here in this incredibly cool room. Okay, first of all, Bumblebee is out here. Chained her up, we put the disc lock on, we will put the cover on top, so Bumblebee will be hopefully safe there. And then this here is the bathroom. It's a little bit stinky, but <laughs> I think that will do for tonight. <laughs> and then this is our room look at that there's like a double bed here a single bed there then you have a step even up here into this little room and all of this space for 15 pounds which is absolutely amazing yeah i think it's normally a dorm room but there's just no one else here yeah that doesn't mean that somebody maybe comes a bit later maybe they come in perhaps right. maybe it's just going to be us here tonight and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time